Yes, yes, Mr. Nariman, we would like to. Uh, may it please you, uh, Chief Melod. I'm I'm very much obliged uh, for this opportunity to address you, my Lord. I'm very, I would have uh, really been delighted if I was there physically, but uh, my Lord, there are all sorts of constraints. Otherwise, I would have uh, not. Uh, I, I, we would also have liked you to be present here, but then. No, it's only because of your indulgence that you are, my Lord, able something to. Is, uh, something is something is better than nothing. <laughs> Well, the, the point that the soli learned solicitor has raised, my lord, is important. I'm not saying it's not important. <laughs> the questions that have been framed are also important because they would have a bearing ultimately on something to be decided in this case affecting the Sanhedna judgment. There's no doubt about it. it. It would be so. But the point only is, my lord, Today you are you have a writ petition of 1986 between a petitioner, the state, which is now redundant because the state was to support the act, but the act is repealed, and a private individual. Now, a lot a catena of decisions have said that such a writ petition is not maintainable at all. Now, whether you decide it now. You decided later, you decided after nine judges, but at some point of time, that decision will have to be done in a pending matter because that is the only matter before you, containing a whole bundle of facts, a whole set of denials, lot of affidavits which I'm not bothering you with. Therefore, my lord, the question certainly can be referred, but nothing survives today in this petition. And that's for your consideration, because although the act is repealed, the question of my right to excommunicate and the challenge to that survives does not enable the present rate petitioner to move under 32. That's, that's for your lordship consideration. There are judgments of your lordship specifically saying between private parties there cannot be an enforcement of the writ. Now, that's one of the considerations, whether you take it up now, whether you take, I'm not even not at the moment trying to uh, short circuit anything, mm. but take it up now, take it up later, but that question does arise and it will arise later. And there is, there is one solution to this, perhaps following what the solicitor says, namely, in the Sabrimala case, it was contended by before one of the dissenting judges, my Lord, Justice Chandrachud, just as Mr. Nariman dissented, Justice Chandrachud also dissented. And the justice, uh, the, that the Sayana case should also be deferred. And his Lordship said, if your Lordship turns to the, the Sabrimala judgment in at page 180, para 272, 2019, 11 SCC. If you have got it with you, my lord. There are 272 you are mentioning? I'm obliged, my lord, at 180. This is the the other dissent of um, no, Honorable no, Justice Chandra. And this, this lordship lord, after discussing if it at the it. bottom, just before 273. This yes. is concurring. In Saifuddin, he calls it Saifuddin. This is a Sayedna case is presently pending consideration before a larger bench. That is your lordship. Yes. Because this comes subsequent to the five judge bench judgment, my lord, which said that if you are convinced that the law laid down is wrong, then you refer it to Salam. Lavati judgment. Mm -hmm. judgment. <laughs> so, my lord, quite frankly, this was all considered. Mm. By the judges, it's not as if it's only that it happens to be the other dissenting judge refers to it. But uh, in in this opinion, Mr. Nariman, uh, Justice Chandrachud's view was the. Yeah, you view. was just yeah, same as Justice Nariman. So it was the it was the majority view. In this one, it's the majority. Yes. Yes. yes, yes, it was the majority view. Same as Justice ah. Nariman and same as Justice Chief Justice Deepak Mishra. Concurring uh, majority view. This is the concurrent yes. majority view, four is to one which went. Four is yeah, absolutely three. correct. It's only Ju uh, Honorable Justice Indu Malotra who took the dissenting view, which ultimately Justice Gogoi Malot thought was a correct view and ultimately 
uh, all those questions are arisen. So there is no doubt these questions, the, the, the questions as framed by the nine judge bench, I can't get away from it. It, it requires to be considered and it will possibly be considered in God's good, good time. But, uh, but today, my Lord, we, what are we, we are faced with this problem. There's no question of referring anything. Your so I, 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 uh, Mr. Nariman, I would, uh, we would like to have your response to uh, a view canvas that um, uh, since that uh, nine judges judgment is awaited, instead yeah. of awaiting that, if on this practice of excommunication, a question is framed and also referred, the parties will have the opportunity to assist the nine judges bench in respect of this particular nuance of the larger generic questions framed as the first two questions. Well, it, I don't think that would be a proper way of doing it, if your lordships don't mind. Uh, my no, saying, no, I, I'm, I'm seeking your uh, assistance and opinion as to what you feel about. Yes, I'm very much obliged. No, you know, this matter comes because of Justice Lawati's judgment. Yes. It's because. They were in, in, in Sabri Mala, this was contended. <coughs> and Justice Chandrachud said, no, no, this is now before and five judge bench, let them de decide whatever they want to do. And your lordships are now deciding whether, what to do. And my suggestion, my lord, following the suggestion I made, which I, I consider my lord, quite reasonable of the solicitor, apart from the lists, etc., that just let this, my lord, stand over till the decision in the nine judge bench because all those questions this question has to arise there's no question of now framing another question and okay. referring it again okay. because that occasion doesn't arise and anything else anything else mr nariman i'm sorry i said anything else you would like to say I yes i'm sorry I, I i would like to only say this that as early as possible, the nine judge bench should determine those questions because they are all pending. No one can you know, gainsay that the nine judge bench has dissolved. It's not dissolved. The, the five of the judges have retired, etc. But that makes no difference. Then there is a there is an order of the nine judge bench framing questions. So either they have to be answered, or you know, something has to be done about it. Now, and, and I have no doubt that the answer to that question will certainly help this honorable bench to determine the correct view to be taken on uh, the, uh, excommunication. There's no doubt because you just see the questions. They are all the questions two and four. Yes, yes, yes they, they have large generic question, but uh, Nariman on the lighter side, this is not in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just to, you know, the matter was, in fact, the nine judge bench was listed for one week of continuous hearing in 2020 March. Yeah, then, but then got COVID intervened. Then, otherwise, it, it was, was only set for a day. So, but unfortunately, because of that. But initially, the, initially that flu <coughs> intervened. Swine flu. Swine flu intervened. Two honorable judges comprising of the bench were infected. Yes, yes. And thereafter, immediately COVID. Two of us have gone through it, yes. Yeah, that's right. And then when we have never seen the light of day. But my yes. Lord, we are not, we would also like to like this question to be decided at the earliest. There's no doubt about it. Understand. Therefore, I suggest, my Lord, that at the moment, if it is convenient, without raising any preliminary points, which I have, I'm not raising them at the moment. Let all of this be decided after the nine judge bench formulates its answers to the questions. That's enough. Whether it decides the review in a one way or not, it makes no difference. Oh, okay. Thank just you. Mr. One, not just me. Two minutes. Yes, yes, just one second. Just one second. I gave you a chance. Now, what do you want to say in something? Yeah, there is one issue or one question which even ah, nine... About my nine learned friend, just... sorry, my lord, to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt you. My learned friend was just arguing. You know, he's not uh, he's not connected with the Dowdy Boras. It's another community, community. That's right. from Gujarat. That's a different community.